Hello, hello everybody. And I just got done making a new batch of food. I get people asking me all the time what I feed my shrimp. And this is how I feed them. This is my mix of crushed flakes that I then, I buy the flakes in bulk and then I run them through the food processor and this is what the end result is. Now you may see there's a bunch of piles of shrimp in this video and I also feed Hikari algae wafers, but to be honest, those are just for videos and for show. And I use it when I catch shrimp out and when I call shrimp out. It just makes it easier to get them all gathered up in one spot. And now there's the food processor and here's all the different flakes I use. We have the white flakes are soldier fly larvae. Super brine shrimp. We got some brine shrimp flakes. We got some spiraluna flakes. And we have another spiraluna flake. I always double up the spiraluna flakes. And we got some earthworm flake. I've always used earthworm flake. We've got the black fly larva flake. We've got color max flake and the guppy flake. And then I think this is bloodworm flake. So I've made this video on how I make my food several times, but I want to take the time in this video to talk about what you need to think about when you're feeding your shrimp. I think people way, way, way overthink what they need to feed shrimp. I mean, I see all kinds of stuff out there, but the bottom line is shrimp are scavengers and that means they'll eat anything. You got fish in there and fish dies, it's shrimp food. You got another shrimp dies, they're gonna eat it. You got leftover food in there, they're gonna eat it. But that's not to say we should just feed them anything, but they will pretty much eat about anything. There's all kinds of people out there trying to sell their super expensive powdered shrimp foods and all these other fancy things. I've never ever messed with any of that stuff. I've always just used flakes and algae wafers and I think they do pretty good for me. Now I do get pretty good flakes. These are the premium and super premium lines from Ken's Fish that I use my mixing in this video. You can see how I crunch up the flakes in the bag, dump it in the food processor, run it, turn it into powder, and then I dump it in the container. Now I want to tell you something. When I used to sell shrimp wholesale, I went to the I would go to this guy's place and he had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tanks. And he sold all kinds of stuff. He sold all the expensive lines of shrimp food. I'm not gonna go in the name of names and all that. And what he had, but, you know, the little little tiny packets of food for 20 bucks or more. The people that people say you gotta gotta have to have successful shrimp. And you know what he fed? He fed Hikari algae wafers and that's all he fed. He had cases and cases and cases of all the big dollar famous shrimp foods out there. And he threw Hikari algae wafers in there. And you can tell they like it. That's like I said in the video. This is the Hikari algae wafers is what I put out there to get them all gathered up like this. So I've seen people saying, you gotta feed the dead shrimp powder this day, the snowflake food this day, the bacteria AE this day, the mineral powder this day. I mean, come on. I think with, now to be, now I speak from the case of Neocaridinia. I can't say anything about Caridinia because I don't keep them. But for Neocaridinia, you can throw just about anything in there and they'll eat it. But like I said, I like to have some premium food and the higher the protein level, the better I've had luck with. Now that means breeding wise, so. Generally speaking, when shrimp have higher protein levels, they can make more eggs and make more babies. And as you can see, I like to make more shrimp and make more babies and you have better chances of the baby shrimp surviving when you run it through the food processor and powder it. That means there's gonna be thousands and thousands and thousands, even if you just put a little tiny pinch in there, there's gonna be thousands of little tiny pieces of food in there. 
and that's going to collect in the moss, it's going to collect in your plants, it's going to get trapped, it's going to create biofilm, and that's going to allow your baby shrimp to graze and feed 24 hours a day and that's what they really need. So another thing to keep in mind when you're feeding your shrimp is you don't want to feed them too much. Now, I feed too much, but my tanks are pretty balanced. They're, my tanks are pretty dialed in. And there are times I cut back, believe it or not, for certain reasons. If the tank seems out of whack, I start getting too much algae. Because while I do perform large weekly water changes, you, you, wanna, you wanna keep those in check. And the more food you throw in, the more frequent and bigger water changes you're gonna have to perform. So unless you're ready to do a whole bunch of water changes, you need to feed very lightly and you'll have a lower shrimp population. And that's fine, not everybody's trying to breed thousands and thousands of shrimp to sell and move like I am. So I just wanted to touch on some of the quick things about how I feed and things you need to look for to feed. And one last thing I wanna talk about here is I have no idea about price points or anything like that. I have no idea how much it costs, but I want to see if there's interest. Here you go. You can see me mixing up all the different flavors, I like to call it. Get them all mixed in real good. But I want to see if there's interest then in me selling my mix on my website. If any of you guys would be interested in feeding your shrimp what I feed my shrimp, let me know in the comments and I'll take a look and start figuring out how to go about offering my food. I've had several people ask me if I would, if I ever would, and I mean, it wasn't something I was into, not something I was really interested to because I think people way overthink shrimp. I even had some guy offer me to try to get me to sell his super expensive shrimp powdered foods and all that, and that's just not my thing. I'm all for making this hobby as obtainable and accessible to everyone for the cheapest most maybe not the cheapest but the best value most bang for your buck way you can so if any of you guys are interested let me know thank you guys for watching bye